Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. Uh, I'm going to try something a little bit different this time. Um, with all luck, there will be like a picture kind of thing right around here. If not, uh, what I'm going to review right now is a movie I watched on Netflix. It's called Harbinger Down. I'm going to start off right off the bat by saying Harbinger Down is a complete clone of the thing now not to not saying that's a bad thing i mean uh you know obviously it's not going to live up to john carpenter's the thing but uh i tell you this it would have made a hell of a lot better than the remake slash prequel whatever the hell that thing was it would have made a much better sequel than that did um stars lance henriksen uh you know, what more do I got to say about Lance Henriksen? Everyone knows him. Uh, I don't want to go too much into the plot. Don't want to spoil it if you plan to see it. Sufficient to say, you know, it's a bit of a mixed bag when it comes to effects, for example. You got some, like the creature effects are pretty damn sweet, if I do say so myself. Uh... There are some CG scenes that you notice, which are a bit uh, iffy, to say the least. Um, you know, I, I gotta say, though, really, gotta give it a 7 out of 10. You know, it's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. You know, especially, you gotta get about 5-10 minutes into it. Otherwise, you don't, you know, you don't really get the, the full effect. You know, uh... The beginning has some really bad CG in it. And bad enough that it might make you want to turn the video off. To turn the show off. But uh, it does get better. I'll, I'll give a brief synopsis. Nothing too big. Uh, 1982. A uh, Russian... Spaceship? By, or satellite or something like that. Crashes. And then it speeds ahead to modern day and some people are out on a fishing boat. They're uh, crab, crab fishermen. And uh, they take some students with them. They're going up to study whales and they end up finding it. And, you know, s stuff happens. You know, any more is really going to spoil it. But, you know. So, you know, give it a shot. It might be good if you like it. Uh, I thought it was pretty decent. Like I said, some 7 out of 10. But, yeah, that's about it, so see you next time.